All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing off how we're supposed to be doing this mission in particular, because a lot of people don't end up showing how to properly do it. Instead, they just do an hour long video on how to do it, which is a little bit annoying. What happens is one person gets a light buff, one person gets a dark buff, and then you both end up having to play together with each other to open up everything and do everything together. He'll do anything that involves a light uh, buff, and I'll do anything that involves a dark buff basically to open doors for this first area it's opening doors so if you have played valid the disciple at all you'll recognize the symbols once you get into the room you, there will be a dark knight that spawns right there and a light uh centurion i think is their name that spawns downstairs you kill both of them and pick up a moat one person down there will get a buff that will show that and that one after getting two of them the person up top will see them surrounding the area once you see them surrounding the area that is when you will be able to shoot them in a correct order which will be happening now so i will be go ahead and unmuting all right mm -hmm. stand in your plate it's time to show off the mechanic so once you get your first buff the order will matter so you played valid disciple i know well you played valid disciple mixer Yep. So once you get your first buff, you'll see a symbol spawn on the on the pedestal on the left for you. And once my buff spawns, I'll see them around the map. So I got my first buff. And as y'all can see, there's like guardian there on the wall. I see pyramid on the wall. All right. First one's going to be pyramid. Okay, so pyramid. Good. That's one of the first ones I have. Now we need to get one more buff. There you go. I got my last moat. My last moat, and the other one, it is grief. Okay. Now, once you have acquired both of yours, you can come up here and help me. So we have pyramid and grief. There you go. Counter's done. Then, after the first section, it swaps. Now, I'm going to be the one who kills the dark guy and gets a moat that lets me call out to him what the symbols are. He'll pick up the uh, modes, and he has to shoot the ones that I call out. Gorn, light, dog. And there you go. And then you get pulled into one last room. And that one last room is this one, where you have to come upstairs all the way, and then the per people do it again. Right in front of me will be four pedestals. The light guy spawns exactly where I'm standing, and the dark guy spawns over here. And then it's just a repeat. The fuck even is it? There you go. Earth? Light. Light? Knowledge. Knowledge. And tower. And tower. And there you go. That's first encounter. Not hard at all. From here on out, it is a lot of running and doing the same thing that it did in the start before that encounter, which is stepping on plates. All right, so now we're at the midway point. Now it's just a game of interchanging buffs. So make sure you have to go that way. Follow that path oh. to get to yours. Yeah, each one has yeah. their own light path they have to follow. So once you open up yours, you'll see a pathway open up on yours. I'll see a pathway open up on mine. As you can see, the wall right here is protruded for me to climb up it. I'm going to try to skip kinda it. It's kind of cool. What the hell? Yep. Yeah, it's it's going to be a portal. Then I go up to get to mine. Here we go. Then I climb up here. Over here. Over here. Now, how do I get around? Because I have not done dark yet. Uh, dark will be wrapping around here to here to here and over there there we go that's not that bad door opens and go and that's how easy that one is and to find the door once you get to this part it's pretty easy it's literally just down right so when it comes to this encounter once we see that that pyramid is fully manifested there will be nine pyramid pieces that will start to appear 
sections of these will begin to glow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Of those nine, six of them will be glowing. Mixer will type those out to me. So Mixer, type out the ones you have matching. Not matching, sorry, the ones you have glowing. My apologies. He has two, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Of those, we have matching sets. I have, I need to see that my chat doesn't stay up always. I need to kill that by the way, so I'll kill it for you. An eight. So I will be shooting two, seven, eight. So two, seven, eight. And that is how you do that. You do that three times. You're looking for the ones that people have shared, not the ones that people uh, don't share, like some people thought at first. You do that seven, seven. You do that three times and the door opens and you can move on to the next encounter. So now that we're past the obelisk, I believe after we get through this section, we will start. Yeah, here we go. There will be ogres that spawn here. And once you have killed the ogres, plates will open up on the left and right side. And that will dictate the direction you head. So more than likely, it should be light right, dark left. You got to kill the ads. You're given a good amount of time for this, though, so that's perfect. There you go. This one doesn't have the ogres. It's the next one. Step on your plate. It opens up a portal. Jump into it. It yanks you far. And then do the same thing again. There it is. There we go. Night. Hop on. Hop into the portal. Yanks you up again. And then we're together for this one. Tormentors spawn after these ogres, by the way, so get ready for those. There they are. And now we need to see which play gets what. Light on left, dark on right. Step on these. And then get ready to get violently yanked by a portal. Jesus. And that's that section. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Now it's just running to the next encounter. All right, once you enter the final encounter, you will be faced with a ton of ads and the subjugators you had seen from the earlier section of the mission where you grab your moats to start the thing. There's Exp um, Expector Selen. Get him to two thirds health without dying. There you go. Once he has been sent to two thirds health, you will be repeating the wizard encounter. There we go. Is my wizard. Okay, I killed mine. I don't see the symbols above Expector. Make sure it's right here. Oh. He ran yeah. right through you, brother. So once you kill him, look above Expector Selen. What do you see? In oh, order from it, top to bottom. It is uh Praise Pyramid Fleet. So we have worship. We have, we worship. have Pyramid and we have Fleet. There you go. Now fight him again. Once you get him to one third, the Strand Subjugator is going to spawn. Once the Strand Subjugator spawns, you'll have two fights with him. Similar to the previous encounter that we just came from, which is the glyphs on the, glyphs on the wall. Then over here in the back, you're going to see the other one spawn. So we need to go ahead and chill out back here. There he is. Now we have a Specter Yemmik. Kill him. There you go. He's been sent to two thirds. The clocks are starting to open, but that is not what we're doing first. There you go. Our wizards have spawned. I'm starting to float just like you are. Okay, my wizard has been killed. Kill yours. Up above, I see Earth, Traveler, stop. Earth now you have to shoot those. Traveler, stop. Good. There you go. That is basically a repeat of first encounter. Next up will be a repeat of the previous encounter, but with 12 symbols instead of just nine. Uh, your clock, since I believe that's yours, is on the far right. Mine is on the left. I believe you can see it. Yeah, that's mine you're going to right over here. Yours is over on the other side. Kill your wizards yep. first. Or we won't be able to do anything. All right, my wizard is dead. Okay, you ready? I'm going to call out. We have 12, 2, 5, and 11. Oh, nope. too slow. We have 7, 6, 4, and 2. Seven, six, four, and two. Yeah, which oh, oh, you have to call out the one that we have matching. Ready? Okay, okay, yeah. We have three, four, five, and uh, eight. Three, shoot three. There you go. Now you gotta do that three times with no mess ups. One, 
And there you go. That is that encounter. Now you get to fight both of them. There you go. Now that that's done, there's literally just the last bit. So I'm going to leave that for the people who watch it to have fun uh, learning what this uh, claim your reward actually means. Uh, like I said, I'm going to leave that for anyone who watches the video and learns how to do this encounter because there's a certain decision you have to make and I'd rather not spoil that decision for y'all. I'd rather y'all experience that decision. Also, I just now realized my game audio has not been live for this entire thing. But I hope to see you guys in the next video. I do apologize for no game audio, but I hope this guy does still help. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good rest of your day. Peace out.